Hello everyone, Fountain Pens writing here with a new Fountain Pen review. Today we are going to take a look at the Platinum 3776 Century Shannon Soul White. Let's start. The pen arrives in this simple white cardboard sleeve with the name and logo at the top. In the carbon sleeve there is a nice blue pen coffin. Open the box and you find the pen. The pen is a cartridge converter and a cartridge is provided, even though I no longer have one. The converter on the other hand is not provided and you have to buy it separately. Now let's take a look at the pen. The pen has classic standard cigar shape and it is made of white injection molded plastic adorned with gold plate finishes. The particular color and finishes is inspired by the Chanteau de Chanessau in France. Uh, it is the famous castle of six ladies and this color, uh, Chanessau white, symbolizes the image of the white and elegant look of the castle. This white color is a soft ivory and with the gold plated finishes it looks really elegant. Top and bottom of the pen are rounded and the clip is a simple underrated but functional clip. The cap angles up until this gold plated little ring and then there is a large band with platinum made in Japan and 3776 century stamped on it. The first is indented and the latter is in raised letters. Nice touch. There is a little step down to the barrel which tapers down until the small gold plated ring. The cap twists off in one and a half turns and reveals the 14 karat gold number no. 6 nib made in house for platinum. You can see the nice logo of the company on it, the number 3776 and SF for soft fine. The nib and feed are friction fitted in the section and here you can see the plastic feed. The section made of the same resin as the rest of the pen is raised slightly and angles up until this little gold plated ring and the cap threads and then there is a step up to the barrel the barrel unscrews and here there is uh, the proprietary converter from platinum one more thing about the cap all platinum 3776 models use the so-called slip and seal mechanism. Practically, the cap has an inner cap that is spring-loaded and prevents the pen from drying out, sealing perfectly the nib. Now let's take a look at the measurements of the pen and compare it with other fountain pens. The Platinum 3776 is a medium-sized fountain pen, slim and elegant. Capped, it is shorter than the Lamy Safari but longer than the Pelican M200. Uncapped, the pen itself is shorter than the Pelican M200 but with the larger nib the length of both pens is virtually identical. The Lamy is the longest of the group. The pen is designed to be posed and posed deeply and securely. Nice and comfortable to hold for people with average hands, the pen can be posed for those with larger hands and remains perfectly balanced. It is lightweight and the plastic is of high quality. Since the nib is soft fine, I've chosen to use the straight cursive script for this writing sample so that you can see how well the nib flex and snap back and how the feed keeps the ink flow nicely. Uh, as always, for all my writing samples, I use the Waterman Blue to get a consistent comparison between the nibs to see if they are dry or wet.
If you don't push the nib, the pen is not wet, not at all. The soft fine nib is even finer than a western extra fine nib, but it leaves just the right amount of ink on the paper. Flexing the nib and you get a nice and wet ink flow. The feedback of this soft fine nib is really peculiar and maybe not for everyone. It's more like a pencil if you write with a light hand, but if you tend to have a heavy hand, the feedback can be uh, unpleasant. It won't be scratchy, but because of the fine point of this nib, it could cut through the fibers of the papers, making the writing experience very unpleasant. Overall this Platinum Century is flawless, very well made, high quality plastic, elegant and underrated, to be expected from a Japanese manufacturer. The threads are nice and smooth and the nib is enjoyable if you know how to use it properly. Now that may be the issue with this model and this nib. If you are not used to having a gentle touch and have no penmanship skill at all, Writing would become a torture, at least with all Japanese nibs that are not broad or larger. But this is not a problem with the pen itself, but rather with the user. The only thing about this pen is the thread when unscrewing the barrel. Uh, these are metal and the barrel is plastic. I would have preferred uh, to have them both made of plastic. The price of this pen can vary a lot depending on where you buy it. In Europe you can find this pen around 135-140 euro, excluding VAT. In, in USA something less than 200 dollar. And if you find a Japanese shop you can, f you can buy this pen for less than 130 dollar. It's up to you. I paid for this pen around 120 euro and at this price it's a good deal. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please consider leaving a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.